Hey everybody, welcome back to US USA Game Design Club Let's Play. We're playing Star Fox. I am Jake. I'm Thaden. Christopher. And I lied to you. We're playing Star Fox 64. Be happy agrees. Yay! Yeah. This is a game that I played a lot when I was younger. It's a lot of fun. It's a branching out kind of game, and you can follow whatever story as long as you can find some of the secrets. So. And much to my chagrin, as a Nintendo fanboy, I have not played Star Fox 64 other than my Google demo and Smash Bros. How are you, Chris? Well, 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 well. you're playing it now, so let's get this party started. Yeah. And then we skipped the opening video, but basically the entire army can't take down Andros, so the main uh, general, General Pepper, right? What's his name? Yes. Is he general? Okay. Yeah. General Pepper hired these four guys to do it for him. Are you just starting the main game? Yep, just start the main game. And there is a versus mode. We might fight each other at some point, but for now we're just going to play through the storyline. Fourth planet of the Lilat system. The evil thriving system. Here's a little bit of the story for you. Andros, of course, is the big main bad guy. Actually, in this one, I believe he is still a giant head. He gets turned into a monkey. I saw the purpose of the Macros. Really? You don't know. Oh yeah, you, so apparently Jake hasn't even beat it this game. Well, I've beaten it, I just haven't found all the different pathways, I guess, is what I mean. But I've seen Andros, and I know what he looks like, but... Oh, I guess, yeah, he is. I was thinking of an older version of this game, I guess. From uh, Smash Bros, there is that really pixelated big head. Yeah, that, that's the one from the original Star Fox. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking of that. I don't know why. <laughs> also, fun fact, it says Star Fox 64, but it's actually the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Here's all the different pathways you can go, but we yeah, are but starting we on... Yeah, the fourth line of the light light system. Yeah. It's about time you showed up, Fox. Wow. You're the only hope it's for true. our world. So there's two different pathways you can go from this planet, depending on how you beat this planet. Yeah, but we're gonna let this be all on I I don't really know the different pathways or anything. There we'll probably be going on the simplest pathway just because it's pretty straightforward. Open the wing. So Oh, wait. Yeah, I said something about Fox real quick, something that you might not have noticed. Yeah, go for it. So, you know, Star Fox is one of the, like, main Nintendo, you know, characters, yeah? Yes. He's also one of the only ones that actually talks. Because Mario doesn't really say much, he just, you know, has his little catchphrases, but doesn't, like, talk to complete sentences, and when he does talk, it's gibberish. Link only screams. Red doesn't say anything, Nez doesn't say anything, Sam doesn't say anything. Mario talks a bit because he, he, he says it's me, Mario, and hi, and things, but yeah, other than that, not it, much. He doesn't talk like complete sentences, right? Right. And the reason why, and I don't know why they made uh, Fox different, but the reason why um, most Nintendo characters don't talk oh, is because uh, they wanted you to be those characters, so you, like, uh, express yourself through them, and that's easier when they don't talk as much. So Star Fox is one of the first Nintendo characters to actually, you know, have his own uh, personality. Yeah, cool. So this is mainly the game you're flying along, and you have your companions, you can help them, you see their health. If you don't help them, they can die. All that fun stuff. die, they crash. Well, they crash and then get picked up, and then you don't have them for the next uh, planet or wherever you go. And you have bombs. All that fun stuff. They're not dead. It's not like uh, Fire Emblem. They're dead forever. I don't know. Everybody stay alert! Stay it... alert, Chris. Jump to alert now. Oh, no! You're losing Chris, a lot of health. Chris, you need to save Cronaria. Not destroy him! <laughs> There's the... What is it they are you for? Future. You've got an enemy on your tail! Got an enemy on your tail, Chris. 
the I, I press the brake. Like press it. the brake. Which one's that? The Down back seat. seat. And you're dead. Oh, that's that. <laughs> of course, Slippy. <laughs> But yeah, I like okay, how they teach you happen. as you're playing, it's a lot nicer. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, like, you know, it explains the controls to you in a non-intrusive way, and then it means where you can just immediately use it. Hmm. Whereas, like, one problem we were having Final Fantasy IX is, like, when they did explain the controls, you didn't have, like, immediate access to it. Like, when they explained the card game, it's just, like, a bunch of words. Okay. Yeah, and it was hard to read, unless if I actually spent some time to sit down and figure it out. Right. But, yeah, this is just a really nice, simple way. They're already communicating, so they can tell us these certain things, which is really nice. Then, like, it kind of makes sense for Peppy to be like, Hey, look out, do this! Yeah. And then, you know, it's... He doesn't say it, but then it like, tells the player the button, so it's not like one of those things where they're telling you information that you should already know, you know? Okay. And then, like, uh, there, I'm assuming there's a boost, probably R or something. I think it's up C, if I recall, but I'm I, not sure. I never played this game, but I'm assuming there's a boost, and, like, that um, weapon there, or power-up or whatever, kind of informs the player about that ahead of time. No, we died again. You doing okay, Chris? Well, it'll yeah. take some getting used to. It's up to you, I guess. Wait, just why you don't go drink it before you go on the rescue mission. I thought I'd make it more confident. Don't drink and drive. Drinking and driving is dangerous to you and others, so don't do that. Flippy, watch out! Don't be on your tail! And once again, my co host don't disagree with my stage advice. Well, yeah, because it's sound. It makes sense. <laughs> you shouldn't shoot your companions either. <laughs> well, yes, I agree, but that doesn't mean you should shoot them. Is <laughs> he? Yeah. Uh, I, I was just about to ask that. Like, I know the internet and people at large think this like, the worst thing ever, like, same with Navi. I can't really say much on Slippy because I haven't played this game. But, like, I never thought Navi was that annoying. So, so you do have an opinion on that? Um, I can understand why people were annoyed with her. It's just the same saying over and over when you've already learned that aspect of the game. Yeah. And it's just annoying in that aspect. Like, she doesn't actually ever say it over and over again. It's just the once. And it's not like. It's too. It's kind of like one of those, uh... So you know how, like, when you come back to a game after a while, and you can't remember what to do? Right. That's kind of the point of Navi. She tells you, hey, this is what you were doing in case you forgot, you know? But I guess that would make sense, but I wish you could just, like, turn it on and off kind of thing. I get that, but, like, in my opinion, it didn't happen often until the end of the game. That was kind of not good. Alright. Well, not anymore. Okay. He's down. <laughs> he might be down too. Yep. We are down. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Killing off yeah. our buddies. Yeah. Alright, should we call it? We're at, uh... We're at about 10 minutes. Maybe we should call it. I'll give just try on the next episode. Yep. Then we'll get a run at... The planet to see if he can rescue everybody. We're gonna rescue from area. Exactly. Next time on USU, USUSA Game Design Club Let's Plays. See you guys. Later.